Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Anna. I'm a little bit spooky. And today we're doing this kind of summery pretty look. And uh, yeah, we're playing with the Yee palette from Lena Lashes. We're also testing out the Maybelline, what is this called? Vinyl Ink from Superstay. Uh, some new cheek products, a SPF spray from Super Goop. Just playing with some new stuff. And uh, yeah, and some stuff that's just new to me. Creating a look, hanging out, doing some makeup, and yeah, I really love the way this eye look came out. It has a very subtle burgundy liner going on. And yeah, we also are going to be talking about the new Dr. Pepper Zero Dark Berry, apparently, and about country music and country, country western music and how we feel about it. <laughs> so if that interests you, just go ahead and keep on watching. Without further ado, let's get into the makeup in the chit chat and have us a nice kind of, uh, well, it's not really coffee makeup, is it? It's a Dr. Pepper makeup type of day. Morning guys. Okay. I want to do a makeup look using the B palette again, because I really like this palette. I feel like I just want to use it more. And I wanted to put in some like example looks into my review of this or first impression video rather. So I want to do some more looks just to kind of have them on hand because I still haven't posted that video yet. Just because I wanted to uh, do some more looks with the palette, I guess. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is <laughs> create a look today with this. And what I want to do is go in with this burgundy shade and this kind of coppery rose gold shade and some of the neutrals and just create a really pretty kind of summery eye look. And we're going to use some of Hung Van Gogh's makeup tips and tricks for this look as well. Side note, the Dr. Pepper Dark Berry is so good. I love it. Like I really like it. I usually don't like fruity soda. I freaking love that. I love the cream soda root beer too. Or cream soda Dr. Pepper also, that one. And vanilla Coke. Oh yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna start the look out I think using Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Liner. This is what we're gonna kind of get things going with. I'm gonna do a little bit of a flick and a wing. I need to sharpen this. And I'm gonna go over that with the burgundy eyeshadow within this palette, which is called Perlaise Numb. Uh, I'll put it on the screen, the shade. I can't pronounce Creole, so I'm just not very good at it. French is not my language and neither really is Spanish, so. Trying to combine all of it, it's just not, not for me. I can't speak it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Pillow Talk liner, eyeliner, and I'm gonna just start a little wing here. I have primed my eyes already and let, you know, kind of sketch out the brow. My skin is so dry right now and I've had some breakouts. I don't know what's going on. My skin has just been on one. So I kind of took a break from filming there to let my skin recover because it was just, oof, something else. I'm gonna use this shade as kind of a base, this eyeliner. All right, I'm gonna blend it out with a little smudgy flat brush here before it sets. But this step doesn't have to be perfect because we are, it's basically, just a base for the next, the eyeshadow. Okay, so now we're gonna take that burgundy shade from the palette, and I'm gonna start out with a smaller brush first, so I don't get too out of hand to begin with. Take this little bitty pencil brush here, the burgundy, and we're going to pat it over top of the eyeliner. You don't have to use the Pillow Talk liner. I think you could probably get away with a, a brown for this step. I think a burgundy just really works well with the shade. And even though we're going with burgundies, we're going to kind of lighten this look up and keep it kind of sultry summer vibes to it. Like it's not going to be fall or too dark. It's going to kind of I don't know how to describe it. In my head, I have an idea of what I'm going for, but it's gonna be kind of a, more of a summery glam look, I think. 
I'm just building that burgundy up. And it's kind of unexpected shades. I like going with a burgundy. Like that's the last shade you would think about for like a, you know, a summer romantic or a summery kind of glam look. But it's maybe like a summer date night type of look or going to an event type of vibe. Like to me, it'd be a look that you could wear to like the Met Gala or like a red carpet or something and still look pretty. Like it's a bolder eye look, but not too bold. Kind of blend that burgundy. And now I'm going to take a little bit of just um, this Toby shade in the top corner. I'll have on the screen what shade I'm talking about. It's just a nice taupe neutral brown. I'm gonna take that on just a blending brush and bring that right here. It's just kind of a bronzer contour shade for me. And I'm just gonna use that to diffuse this outer corner and bring a little bit of definition in. And you could do this step with your bronzer if you wanted to, if that shade suits better. So it's a little bit neutral for this part. Now we're gonna take the kind of coppery metallic shade. It's like somewhere between a copper and a rose gold with some warmth in it. And I'm gonna take that on my flat brush and I'm gonna just pop that on the lid. And let it flow and blend into the burgundy. I'm gonna take my blending brush soften around the edges. It's kind of fiery. I'm going to let the shade come up kind of high into the crease and up and just diffuse. And clean blending brush, soften the edges. And then we can touch up the burgundy anywhere that you feel like it needs a little more intensity. I'm just going to focus it more right on this outer corner. I think that looks pretty. It's kind of something simple about this look. I'm not worried about contouring the eye necessarily. It's just more about just creating a nice, pretty, somewhat monochromatic eye look, but with, I don't know, a pop of copper in there. It's something a little bit different from what I normally would do with the placement by bringing the shimmer kind of up like this and letting it diffuse instead of you know, building up a crease and using a ton of eyeshadow. We're just going to use these two shades and just kind of keep it simple, yet kind of sultry and pretty. Okay, and here we are. What I'm going to do now is clean up the edges if I need to and maybe if there's any fallout. I don't think I have too much or anything like that, but I'm going to just make sure because it's what I like to do. So I'm just going to take a Q-tip here. And swipe it along and just see if there's anything that needs to be cleaned up. I think there, yeah, there is a little bit. So I'm gonna take a little bit of face primer and tidy that up. Because when you're using like a shade like a burgundy especially, you kind of don't want any fallout under here. Because then you can kind of get that sickly look. And you can see there was actually quite a bit there. Which is why I usually do eyes first. Just because I don't want to have... This eyeshadow on oh my foundation and make a mess and have it smear into it. It's just easier to go ahead and do eyes first, like, and avoid the uh, <laughs> problem altogether to me. But it's, it's one of those personal preferences things of how ever you like to do your makeup. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the skin, and I've already done my normal skincare. So what we're going to do now is pop on a little bit of SPF. We're going to use the Lighthearted from Sunday Riley. I forgot to do this <laughs> while I go. I'm going to actually put this headband on to get my hair back out of my face while I do this part. I don't usually include like all this step. We're getting ready. This is part of my routine is to go in 
with a good bit of SBF and a really a high quality SBF in my opinion, which is something like the Sunday Riley Lighthearted. It's one I really enjoy for year round. And I really like the Dermalogica Dynamic Recovery SPF, I believe is what it's called. That one's, I think, my favorite. And the Colleen Rothschild SPF, I love a lot. I'm an SPF girl. <laughs> I mean, when you're a ginger like myself, naturally, and very, very, very pale, I burn in seconds. <laughs> like in the sun, I immediately end up covered in freckles and you start to smell bacon cooking, you know. <laughs> And no, uh, just me, just me outside in the sunlight. So yeah, it's just very important to me. And I've also recently incorporated the Super Goop Resetting Refreshing Mist, which has SPF 40 in it. And I saw Milani has something like this as well, which I think I'm gonna pick up just to compare the two and try out. Cause I'm enjoying the Super Goop one. I think it's uh, a bit heavily fragranced that's that's my only real complaint about it and I feel like if you got it in your eyes it would definitely burn so you can have to be careful with that and it has it has a very strong kind of almost irritating fragrance to the sinuses very very sunscreeny which like the sunscreen put on right now doesn't have a fragrance at all so that's that's the only caveat with that but otherwise I think it's a really genius product to have a setting spray that can be like an SPF or a refreshing spray. But I am quite intrigued to try the Milani one. I don't know why I didn't pick it up the other day when I saw it. I just put it back down. I was like, oh, I got the super goop one. And then my guy home was like, you dummy, you should have got it to compare. But it's me. <laughs> not brain not work well right now. I really, really like this dark berry Dr. Pepper. Oh, I'm a Dr. Pepper girl, by the way. I remember they had like a, a berry vanilla one back when I was in high school. Oh, I was obsessed with that. Next step, I'm gonna take some of the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. I've been kind of playing with this, testing it out, seeing how I feel about it in comparison to like Flawless Filter. I don't think it's quite as glowy as Flawless Filter, but I do like it. And I've been using it kind of as a, a primer right now. Like I'm, I'm not worried about uh, doing like a pore filling primer or anything today. I'm just not in the mood for all that. I've been a little less fussy with my makeup lately, I guess you could say, and just been a little more chill with it. I definitely got way too much. I just apply this like a face lotion. I don't think it has any hydrating benefits or anything like that. It's just, well, yes, yeah, it instantly hydrates. But yeah, I like the glow in it. I think it's really pretty. I think it's a little more subtle than Flawless Filter, but the tone is very similar to like the light and light two shade. It's a very similar reflect, but definitely not nearly as like oh uh, glowy. So if that one, if Flawless Filter is a little too glowy for you, you might wear like Glotion a little more. And it's drugstore. Yeah, I definitely got way too much. <laughs> what I was thinking. But yeah, that's a pretty glue. And I think it does do kind of like flawless filter where it makes your skin look a little more even. But I'm pretty sure, I think you could probably build it up a little bit. Yeah, I feel like with the flawless filter, I do get just a little bit more oomph out of it. But that being said, this is still a really pretty product. And for the price, you kind of cannot beat it. The price point in comparison. Yeah, you know, that is really pretty on the skin. Yeah, this should be hyped a little more than it is. Like, I remember when that came out, I feel like it just really, nobody seemed all that interested in it. And I do believe Milani has something similar as well. Speaking of. <laughs> but yeah, I actually really, really like that lotion. My, um, my best friend, she actually uses it every day in place of her foundation, or she would use it with, I think mixed in with the Bare Minerals to moisturizer that came out quite a few years ago at this point. But uh, yeah, I remember her telling me about this and really loving it. And I just never, for some reason, never picked it up and thought about it the other day when I was thinking about dupes or Charlotte Tilbury products, trying to find something that was comparable to Flawless Filter. And well, oh, there we go. All right, now I'm going to do some foundation. And for foundation, I'm gonna do L'Oreal True Match Nude. 
hyaluronic acid tinted serum. I haven't used this in a couple of weeks. Missing it. I'm going to revisit to give it a good shake. We're going to be very glowy today. <laughs> And I'm going to apply this with a foundation brush. This is an e.l.f. Ultimate Blending. I think my skin's kind of dry. These products will be really nice to incorporate. I think my skin's dry because I've started incorporated a new retinol. And so my skin's kind of going through that retinization stage where it's kind of purging a little bit. And <laughs> it's a little bit dry and angry. And I was picking at it too, so that didn't help. I know. I have a... I don't know. What what do you call it? Like a, a thing where you, I, I pick. I pick at stuff. It's a definitely a like mental thing. I, I can't think what the word is that I'm wanting to call it. And it's not all the time. But I get. it's when I'm really tired or anxious <laughs> it definitely happens it's kind of like people who like you know pull their eyelashes out stuff like that it's one of those things I get I pick at stuff and it's not a good healthy thing to do and I try not to that's one thing having acrylics up it definitely made it easier not to do that because I couldn't feel things is in one of those little picky moods, I guess, where I was picking my skin real bad. I usually I don't mess my face too terribly much, where I irritate things. I usually it's like I get after like my back or something. But I was just I don't know, kind of obsessive with it the last couple of days. I think it's because I, I switched medication recently, I made uh, some lifestyle changes, so it kind of disrupted me a little. And today's the first day that I'm, I'm feeling really, really good in a couple of weeks. Kind of like a little bit of a mental health setback. And I'm not worried about like trying to conceal that, buddy, because it's, it's just not going to conceal. I mean, I could, but it's going to look gross and cakey if I try to really cover it or something because it's very dry and crusty and scabby. So I'm just going to leave it be. I don't care. <laughs> like I'm really, I don't get that bothered about I don't know acne doesn't bother me when it shows through my makeup like that like I don't make an effort to hide it it's not something that I'm embarrassed by everybody has acne it's not a big deal to me everybody gets pimples you know I'm gonna take some of the lift and illuminate serum concealer now from number seven so I have a new musical obsession his name is Orville Peck and it is country western music <laughs> and it is fantastic it is fabulous oh my god it's like Roy Or Orbison meets Dolly Parton fabulous he wears a mask with this long fringe on it and just <laughs> it is everything I've ever wanted in a country western musician and his voice is heavenly I mean will make you feel some type of way voice he has a version of Unchained Melody with another fellow who's kind of a countryish singer um well is a country singer but it's um their little duo is called the Unrighteous Brothers and they have a cover of uh Unchained Melody in the other one that you lost that love and feeling or whatever the Unchained Melody one when Orville kicks in on that second verse I audibly gasped I was like <gasps> Pumpkin looked at me like girl you okay that's no I don't think I am okay <laughs> I think I need a moment to myself <laughs> oh yeah it's nice and I've listened to all his albums now uh, while I was working the other night and just fell in love with the music. Very enjoyable, easy to listen to stuff. Awesome voice. The music videos are really good. Just all around good stuff. And I'm not like a country music fan, but I do have certain 
country music elements I like. I like country western. I like, you know, Dolly Parton. For one thing I love were Loretta Lynn. Um, you know, the country divas. I like Shania. I like Marty Robbins and I like Roy Or Orbison and I'm not the hugest like Johnny Cash fan, but I don't dislike Johnny Cash. But I'm not like, oh my god about him. Oh, Orville does have a song with Trixie Mattel. They do a cover of Jackson, by the way, speaking of Johnny Cash, which is pretty cool. Also, uh, I discovered Trixie Mattel's music and really enjoying that is also, she has a cover of video games that I'm living for. I, I did not know she did country <laughs> kind of music. I'm super excited. <laughs> like I was aware that she did music. I just didn't know what kind of music. And doesn't she have a makeup line? I might have to look into that. But I love her voice. Very nice voice. Anyway, back to Orville. Uh, it ticks all the boxes of everything that I like about like country western music. Kind of that 70s fabulous time. Late 60s, 70s. Going into the 80s with country music where everybody was wearing these very sequent outfits. And rhinestones, you know, riding stone cowboy. Uh, urban cowboy era. I'm all about that. That's the kind of Western that I like. And I also really like like the really old stuff that's like tells stories. Like I love the whole Grand Ole Opry, Nashville scene. And I don't like modern country music though at all. Like, uh, I just, I do not like any new country. I, I'm, I know everybody likes like this, what Casey Musgraves, is she country? I think. I don't, I don't like any of it. Mm -mm. I like old like I think the newest as far as country goes that I've enjoyed was like Reba McIntyre and Shania Twain in the 90s that's about as new as it gets for me <laughs> I think I liked Faith Hill back in the day oh and Orville has a song with Shania um yeah so I've basically just fallen in love with his music it's unique it's fun it's very fun uh the videos are really cool there's like a dark element to his music like kind of um a spooky feel to it. Uh, there's definitely a darkness in there that's really, really cool. So it's kind of got just all the elements of the dark cowboy vibe. There's also a really fabulous vibe in there. Uh, it's everything, everything. He was suggested to me on Instagram a few months ago and I followed him. I kind of, you know, listened to a little bit on there but didn't get really like into it into it but it's like yeah this is cool I need to listen to this and finally I sat down and listened to it and watched some of the music videos and just obsessed obsessed can't get enough of it number seven uh powder by the way just to set the under eye this is the triple action the lift and luminate powder I'm using this on a small brush just to sit right under here where I concealed well for my dry ass skin it's looking pretty good Considering my skin was in a a real state. <laughs> like, I don't know what happened, but I was just having some bad skin days. All right, on the rest of the face, I'm going to take some of my e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. Mm, yeah. First, I think I'm going to take a... Yeah, no. We're just going to take a little bit of this on a huge fluffy brush. And just set down the rest of the skin lightly. It is so hot today. Are gonna be so hot today it's it's currently like five in the morning it's gonna be a really warm day today and I'm gonna be out and about so I kind of want to see how long my skin can hold up so okay for bronzer I'm gonna jump in with my elf putty bronzer real quick I'm just gonna do this first before I finish up the eyes I don't know why I'm just gonna take this on my foundation brush actually just take a little bit this applies pretty well over um, powder like I haven't noticed any trouble with that so I'm just gonna take and kind of work it into my foundation brush and work it into the back of my hand just to get it where it's not too much and warm up face a little bit here oh and Orville also has a cover of fancy as a Reba McIntyre's fancy the very, the last 10 seconds of it. Amazing. <laughs> Something with that last 10 seconds just, oh. Like this guitar kicks in and it's just very, yeah. 
but he mixes that rock and roll kind of Elvis vibe in with the country western vibe. It's it's fun, very fun music. I'm a huge fan of it. And I'm not like, you know, a big country music fan by any means. Like, I think we all know that. I'm more into goth music, metal, weird music more than anything. Just kind of, I don't know. Like lately, I listen to like more like a lot like Chelsea Wolfe. And Lawrence and the Machine. I really enjoy. I'm really liking the songs I've heard from Florence's new album. Like I'm not huge into like pop music really. Occasionally there's a song I like, like I like that one Dua Lipa song that samples that other song from the 90s. <laughs> like that kind of thing. Like I'm very picky. I like Lady Gaga here and there. I'm not a... I don't get excited about new stuff and I never have been that kind of person. I've always been a bit of a old fogey grump with my musical tastes. Alright, now I'm gonna go on to the lower lash line and I'm gonna take some of that shimmery shade first that we used on the lid, I think. Or maybe we'll take some of that kind of neutral brown. I'm gonna run that just along. I don't want to put any eyeliner under there. A little bit of shadow for definition. If I wanted to make this more dramatic and really sultry, I'd go ahead and put the Pillow Talk liner all in the waterline and underneath and really smoke that out. But I have a feeling my eyes are going to be pissy if I try to do that. I don't feel like aggravating my eyes. Alright, so I'm going to take a little bit of that lid shade. I'm just going to hit right here. Uh, I have a pretty eclectic music taste, I guess you could say. We also kind of narrow at the same time. Like I don't like a lot of musicians, but I like like two or three musicians from like every genre. Let's put it that way. Like I'm, I don't know, it's strange. <laughs> and they have to be something unique and different for me to, like I don't like anything. It's very, if it's kind of generic sounding, I just, I find it boring. I think that's about it for the eyeballs. Um, Let's do some blush. I have a new blush here from Trey Luce. Again, I can't speak any languages. I, yeah. It's just weird is that I actually knew how to say like something the other day and I got real excited. <laughs> Cause I could tell my friend Donna how to say Cartagena and it's very rare occasion that I know how to pronounce something. So I was very proud of myself for knowing how to say that one word. <laughs> and uh, even though I have family in Colombia, and you would think that's why I know how to say it. No, I know how to say it because of the movie Romancing the Stone, which is one of my absolute favorite movies of all time. I love that movie so much. Anyway, we have this <laughs> cream blush here. This is the Ready to Bounce cream blush from Tre... Treluce. Tre Treluce. Tre Treluce. Just... Just... <sighs> anyway. Shade Date Night. This is a really, really nice packaging. I like this blue, by the way, it's also fun. This is a very, very sturdy little compact here. And it has a great little mirror inside. It has a beautiful peach cream blush. This formula is a little bit softer than I would say a putty blush, but quite similar type of thing. So I take a little bit of this on the cheeks. It's so pretty, it's very nice. I'm, I'm quite pleased with this uh, formula. But they sent me this the other day to test it out and I've really enjoyed it. So I'm going to kind of hit the uh, higher points on the face here with it. It's just the perfect shade for me too, this peachy tone. I love these types of shades. And I've also become a cream blush girl. I like how pretty that one. This one's like a matte, more of a putty formula. I imagine it's somewhat similar to like the Super Shock from ColourPop. It's very that type of feel. Yeah, very pretty. Very pretty blush. Can I highlight in a blush topper? I'm gonna take a little bit of this from Wet n Wild. 
this is one of their makeup sticks from Mega Glow. This is one of the blush ones. And this is Beach, Peach Bombs. And this one really is a lot like Pinkgasm from Charlotte Tilbury. Very, very pretty product, by the way. I think these are super underrated. So I have this one, and the other day I picked up this uh, one in Floral Major Floral Majority. <laughs> Yesterday, actually, I picked this one up because I like this one so much. I was like, mm, let's try some more. And this one doesn't have a shimmer in it, and it's just a really pretty kind of warm, rosy shade. And then I picked up the actual highlighter from the little range and it's called When the Nude Strikes. I love Wet n Wild's punny names. This is very pretty. This is a really, really pretty kind of nudey nothing highlight. Like there's no color to it. It's not quite icy. It's just a very pale champagne and really pretty. I like it. I like the tone of that a lot. But yeah, we're gonna take a little bit of this one. This is the Peach Bombs. And I'm gonna also take that on my little brush. What I do is just, I pat in right here. Can I work it into the brush on my wrist, my arm rather, and then tap it on. And this one has a gorgeous shimmer to it. So I'm just gonna layer just a little bit of it. All right, I'm gonna try out the highlighter one and then I'm going to use the same brush just kind of clean it off I'm going to put some on my arm here to scribble some on and tap maybe you should apply directly there we go that's pretty. That's really pretty. This is giving me some Charlotte Tilbury vibes too. And these from Wet n Wild are so underrated. <laughs> They're so nice. <laughs> they don't sit down now. They will kind of stay a little glossy. But they're so pretty. Look at that. That looks great. I love that. I might have to pick up the bronzer shades in that as well. I think they have some that kind of look like concealers or foundation-y. I wouldn't mess with those personally. I think I'm meant to be like highlight, be matte highlights. With the formula, I don't think that's where it's at. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Bobbi Brown stick here, eyeshadow stick, and get in the waterline. Just a little bit to brighten that up. For lips, I actually have some new lip products. So I'm gonna swatch and see which one I like best. I've got two here. I've got the new Superstay Vinyl Ink from Maybelline. These are ones like supposed to like last forever. I need to like, shake it up. And here it's got a thing in it. And then I also picked up Pleasure from Milani because they finally had this one in stock. I've been waiting to get my hands on this one. <laughs> it just kept being out of stock everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of swipe this one on and see how it looks. I'm just gonna get anything off my lips. I think this one might be a little too orangey for today. A little too browny. But ooh, that's a good color. That's a really nice nudie shade for me. I really want to try the Superstay Maybelline one. That is just really intriguing. So I'm going to line my lips with a little bit of lip liner. I'm going to use Max Spice. Just kind of a go-to standard lip liner. All right, let's try this out. I think this shade will be kind of perfect with the eye look. Yeah, I'm gonna give this another little shake just to make sure. This is the shade 15 Peachy. They had so many pretty colors. I had a hard time picking a shade. Mm, ooh, ooh, really nice vanilla scent. Oh, perfect color. I love a peachy lip in this. This is like the perfect peachy lip. Mmm, feels good. Really nice applicator. Looks nice. Good shade. Okay. So I guess we just kind of let that dry. And we'll see. But I think that looks really pretty. Alright, I'm going to curl my lashes really quickly. 
and we're gonna throw on some mascara. And the way my eyes have been lately, I'm going waterproof. I've had some watery eyes. Oh, I need to touch my brows up still. <laughs> I'm going in with the Killer Lash from Cleo. Even though I have some mascaras I'm really liking, I just, I feel like my, I'm going to have a watery eyes today. I don't know, I just got that feeling. Yeah, you just kind of sense it. Like, yeah, I better go with the waterproof today. Brows, let's touch up the brows real quick. I'm just going to take some uh, Thick It Stick It. Alright, and take some of my Lift and Snatch. This is in Ash Brown. The brow gel was in Brunette. Alright, and we are done. Okay, so the lip has been hanging out for a little bit, so just a vague, like tiny bit of transfer. And it's still Perfect. Cool. All right. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. I'm going to have to get more shades now. <sighs> like I need more lipstick. <laughs> Ugh, I'm a bit of a lipstick fiend. Okay. Fix my hair. Just blow dried it today. And I thought about putting a little flip in it, but I don't think I am going to worry about putting a curl in. Just going to leave it as is and let it be. Now, I do want to show you the Super Goop resetting spray real quick. So this is how the skin looks right now. And my skin's pretty glowy. This is going to make it really, really glowy. So that's another kind of downside is if you don't want to look super glowy, this is not going to be something that you'll like. But I just kind of want to show you what it's going to look like. So what you do is you really give it a good shake. Get a little, keep your eyes closed for a minute and don't breathe because it's very kind of strong, but it's really nice <laughs> at the same time. Uh, it says it's not irritating. I haven't had any irritation on my skin from it. It's just, it kind of burns your nostrils <laughs> if you inhale while you're spraying it. And I feel like it would definitely burn your eyes. So do be cautious. But I'm uh, enjoying it. And yeah, this is how it looks now that's on the skin. It doesn't dry down any more than this. This is how it will stay looking. I think it's a really cool product, especially for touching up SPF throughout the day. Fantastic. It's something I would definitely put in my purse when I'm out and about. But yeah, okay. That is our makeup look all done. Let's throw some earrings in real quick. <sighs> Finish this completely up. I'm just all over the place mentally today. So yeah, now we are all done with our look. Thank you for hanging out with me, testing out a few new products, and just sitting down playing and having a good time. I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and stay spooky. Bye now.